Hey guys, Levi here with Digital Epidemic coming at you with another tech video. Here today we are going to be installing more storage into a desktop computer. That's right, more hard drive space. Adding on a secondary hard drive here, so stay tuned. All right, so before we even shut down the computer and start tearing into it, I like to jump in here really quick into disk management. and get an idea of what we already have in the computer. So we've got disk zero. So we've got this one row here. So we'll remember that. Now we can go ahead and shut down the computer and start tearing it apart. For this project, all we really need is an extra SATA cable to hook up our SATA hard drive and then make sure that the power supply has an extra, extra little clip deal to hook onto uh, and give this hard drive power. I currently have a RAID array as the first drive. Both of them are SSDs. And I think it's a smaller array, like 250 gigs possibly. So not huge, but fast and reliable. So let's go ahead and set this guy down. So you can see it. So the first one's here, second one here. I'm going to go ahead and put the third hard drive in right here. Give them all some space away from each other to breathe. And this has these great little clip-in deals. Everything's nice and quick. Don't even have to screw it in. Just kind of line it up with these little deals into place. And there we go. Boom, bam. It's in. Now we flip it over. Here's our drive right here. We're gonna wanna run our SATA cord up through here to plug it into the motherboard. When we flip it over, plug this side in right here. Now it's got power. And then, I'm sorry, now it's got data. Now we find power. Here's a power, luckily, right next to it. Clip it down on. Now that side is good to go. Now I can flip it back over. This would be a great time to take it outside and blow it out with the L air compressor. Just be careful because the PSI coming out of those is really high, so you don't want to ruin anything. So now we're looking down in here for our motherboard SATA connectors. Here's SATA 3G underscore 3. See if there's any other places on the motherboard to connect. Looks like this might be our, okay, here we go. These two coming out the back, SATA 6G. All right, so six gigs per second are these two right here. So I'm just gonna hook in right next to it. Like so. That should be all we have to do. Now we can button it up and jump back in the computer. All right, so we are booted back into Windows now. Let's go ahead and jump into that same disk management program. Create and format hard disk partitions. It's loading the disk configuration. And sure enough, we now have two different hard drives in here. It might be slightly confusing because there was three physical hard drives in there, but we had the first two drives made up disk zero as a RAID. And the third hard drive I just installed is disk one, four terabytes or 3.7 terabytes, whatever. So now when we go into our file manager and go into this PC, should have more than just our C drive, which we do. We have a whole mess of D, E, F, G, and H because there was a whole bunch of different wacky, odd partitions on here. And since it looks like I can't actually go into any of them and change them or fix them or help them or get any data off them if there was any, D, I, S, K, disk partitions. I 
I'm going to go ahead and click on this first one here and delete all these volumes. Yes. Delete. Yes. Right click. Delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. And so I'm guessing because of these two zero megabyte ones here, it's causing an issue for it to split like this. Let's go ahead and delete that volume there. And that one there. It's thinking, and that did it. Look at that. New simple volume. Next. Yes, I want to use all of it. Yes, D drive is great. Let's call it four terabyte. Next, finish. And now we are cooking with gas. Look at that. We used all of it. That looked more better. And that is how we add more hard disk space to our desktop computer. I will go ahead and throw some links in the description down below of which hard drives I think you should go check out. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, click some bells, do all that stuff down below, interact with me, and let's have some fun. Till the next video, take care.